they're very smart and we don't give them a lot of credit and they just they know so much and to know more about how they you know handle things it helps us prepare them to be better parents if that's the word everybody, it's Ageless Ambitions on Lux Media Studios. This is a really beautiful day outside. We're really glad that it's finally sunshiny because it's been kind of gloomy and that's the June gloom in California. But hey, we got some sun because I got the most beautiful woman here who's just full of so much energy and support and love. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. And her name is Kelly Kendall. And so, so happy for you to be here with me today. Hi, Christy. It's so good to see you. Hey, I just need to let everybody know who you are, what you're doing, and hopefully people around the country, around the world can really understand what you do to help not only people, but animals. And we know what we feel about our pets and how they are a big part of our lives. So you are like an alternative and holistic health healer, correct? Yes, yes. So Can, tell me a little bit about that because, you know, this is the way to go these days, you know, instead of feeding everybody with some kind of pills or just giving them things that they don't need, they just need to be healed and holistically and through a different alternative than what it, we're used to. Right, yes. So I was introduced to Reiki energy healing about okay. five years ago, and mm -hmm. I was getting the healing for myself, um, working in therapy with the coach. And, okay. um, and I really just received so much bliss from it. I received so much clarity and I felt so good once I was done with each session. And so, I thought, so can I ask you a question about this? Like, you know, I don't even know how to even think about looking up something like that. Like, what is Reiki? What Tell me what that is so that when you needed to, you know, search for something, what made you, you know, go towards that versus anything else instead of just like a therapy or what is Reiki? So Reiki is an ancient Japanese healing method. Okay. And so it helps us relax and de-stress. And so that our body can get in a state of healing itself. And so when we get into that really relaxed state, our body begins to heal, our minds begin to come clear. Um, a lot of times we're, we're looking for solutions to answers and things, and mm -hmm. we get that divine guidance through Reiki energy healing, which is a form of meditation, and as well as working with our body's energy to release what no longer serves us. Nice. And to call in what does for the next chapter of our lives and to help us. And it ha really helps humans move through challenges and chapters of their their lives um, a lot faster with guidance and clarity. Wow. That sounds so just soothing, if that's a word. Like just it brings it's out just a, uh -huh, like, wow. Everybody feels a lot lighter once they're done. With I the just session. felt like that. Yes. It yeah. just makes you feel calm, if that's a word, right? Just by listening to that. Calm, yes, very calm. So, so okay, uh, so you 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 needed to get some kind of, you know, self-help or whatever it was in terms of figuring out something that could help you heal from something. And so that's where Reiki came in. So when you started working with it, you know, this is why you're where you're at today, because you took that to another another level because you're a master now. Yes. Um, I was, I went to see a coach so I can transition out of being a TV producer. Oh yeah. We wanted to bring that up too. We'll bring yes, that up. I did that for about 25 years of my life. It was, um, there were two passions that I have in, mm -hmm. in my life. I have uh, television was one and working with animals is another. I, I just love animals so much and dogs in particular have been um, a, an animal that I've been working with. Um, that's uh, how we kind of met, right? Is that how we met? Did we meet because of Max or before that? 
I forget. We met um, before that. We met at a at an event. Okay. Actually, and 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 Max was with you. Okay. I uh, he's you, always you know, with me. That's the problem. <laughs> And I was and I was doing Reiki for animals at that time. Well, I okay. still am, of course. Right. But that's when I started. And I just I, I saw so many great benefits uh, for my animals, my dogs at home. And I just wanted to share that with other people and their pets, too, because it's very um, it helps you bond with your pet as well, because we're working with um, spiritual energy. And we all have that. You know, and our dogs have our ch have chakras as well as as we do. They have energy centers. They um, are they're a soul. very smart. They're very smart, and we don't give them a lot of credit. And they just they know so much. And to get to more like know more about how they, you know, handle things, it helps us prepare them to be better parents, if that's the word. And mm -hmm. that can happen through Reiki, correct? Absolutely. Um, helps deepen the bond between okay. people and their pets. Mm -hmm. um, we get to see a different side of our animals that we don't always think about. And, and it's so important because dogs have energy centers as, as well. And they're spiritual beings just like us. So if we can connect with them on that level, it could really um, enhance our bond with them and help us to understand them better. Yeah, because I wish they could talk sometimes, you know, it's just like, can you just tell me really what you want, right? So through this kind of process that could happen, you know, you could to just get deeper into understanding their ways of how they react to things and stuff like that. Yes, with Reiki, um, you can actually have a conversation with your pet when you get into a really deep meditative state. I do a guided meditation that takes people um into a space where they invite their pet into that spiritual space with them in their third eye um wow. is a visualization meditation and you can talk to your pet and ask your pet what you what they need from you and and you can get those answers intuitively through divine guidance and wisdom because you're in that that higher state and higher vibration when you're in in the flow with Reiki and you're doing a session. So that often happens that people get messages from their pets while doing Reiki sessions with me. And you can still do that with relationships and people, correct? It, it's it's wonderful um to to use it to connect you know humans. Okay. Um and it's very uh transformational as far as you know working with Reiki to overcome mm -hmm challenges and hurdles and to really find coping mechanisms. I like and, that. And I so like that because most people like just want to, you know, handle Reiki really helps that along the way. So sorry, if you get a little right. Reiki um, every so often and mm -hmm. keep your energy clear and your vibration up, then when something happens that or a challenge, then you don't have those big meltdowns. Okay. You, can, you know how to cope with them a little bit easier and you know what to do so that you don't go into and put your body into really high states of stress. Right. Because we, we can blow up sometimes and it's better to just know how to handle that before we do it. Because yeah. I was really, I was really bad at that when I was with uh, teaching my kids. It's like, you, you what? You don't know the stuff. <laughs> just like kidding. But you know, you just got to learn to, you know, find a way to communicate that a little better. Right. Yes. Yeah. You do one on ones. You do one on ones. I absolutely do. Yes, I work with um, both people individually and pets individually, and then also together. Uh, we got to know about this. We got to get some information out so that people know that they can, like you know, get, just get better inside and just all the way around, make themselves in a better place, knowing that this is a possibility that you can help them. I love that. Yes. Um. And just to, you know, I just want to mention that I have recently gone through something um, really big in my life, um, a big okay. challenge, but because I've, I've done so much Reiki and I always do self Reiki, um, it actually, I didn't have to put myself in such a, um, a state of panic. Okay. It, I, I learned how to not get into those states of panic and anxiety and actually 
help me move through that challenge a lot easier. Right. So that's where Reiki is really helpful for her too as well. Well, my show is called Ageless Ambitions. And like I said, I wanted to bring up what you've done before. So your little bit of backstory is you were in television and you, you know, worked on a very famous show. It was very successful. Do you want to speak what that one is? Or you just want to just say that you did that? Or I don't want to, I don't want to speak for you. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's, um, I was working on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette for about 13 years. And I'd always, I, I was working in casting. So I was a casting producer and helped okay. them cast um, their season. That's such a big show. So you had a big part in that. And that's why it was successful because obviously the casting made the show. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a big team effort, but uh, I think we had a great team. Mm -hmm. And um, and so that's what I did for a really long time. I was also a producer and had uh, created TV shows as well earlier before that. But I really wanted to do something truly meaningful and work with people and and animals um, and help you know help people help their animals. Believing before seeing, a new book by Candace Barr teaching you how to believe into existence available now for pre-order so so for me like i had my my dance studio for 28 years but i just knew i wanted to do something new and different and that's the transition that i took and that's how i got into my skincare and you love keto i know that um but um that's that was the challenge one challenge for you is to just you know be in this safe position that you've done for that long a time but you knew that you wanted to do something better for yourself and better for other people. And that was a big step to take. And I'm sure that that was very, very difficult to 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 want to, you know, not necessarily not want to do, but the safety of whatever situation you're in, it's hard to make that change. Yeah, absolutely. It is hard to make a big change in your life. Mm -hmm. It's scary and it's because it's uncertain. Right. And, um, and I just know that I had a passion. The passion was within me. It was ready to emerge within me. It was time for me to really, truly work with animals and and help people help pets, right. um, them under, help people understand their pets better and help them connect to their pets on a different level. Um, and recently, I have uh, pursued um, an interest in dog training, and I've become a puppy kindergarten teacher. So I am now do working. To, do, do they have to be baby puppies or they can they be 13 or 10? They can be older for sure. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we got to yes, we got we gotta work together on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, okay. So I have incorporated Reiki into my training with animals because um, I'm working, I'm doing positive reinforcement mm -hmm. training, which is rewarding the behaviors that you do want. And, um, and so you're always on a high note with your pet you know you never angry or anything and that's really what reiki is all about um i incorporate the precepts of reiki um they are just for today uh do not anger just for today do not worry just for today be humble just for today be honest in your work and just for today be compassionate to yourself and others so i Positive training really lends to incorporating Reiki um, because they're both so gentle. And um, and I found that when I do uh, one-on-ones with pet parents at their homes, it's really exhausting. Training's really tiring, um, a lot of repetition, a lot of practice. So at the end of the day, they're just ready to relax. So I give them a Reiki session with their pet at the end of the training. <laughs> And it's been so wonderful. Um, people really love it. And it actually, the human gets to relax because right. they've been working the whole time trying to you know, train their dog. So you're training actually, You're training somebody right now, right? Yeah. You have two in training right now. Yeah, yeah. I've got two puppies here. Um, I'm doing some potty training with them. They're Layla and Lottie. They're the cutest. And they're wearing a Reiki wrap. I wanted to talk about that too. Cause you have your yeah. wrap on. Yeah. I have a Reiki wrap and a Reiki wrap for my boys. But even though, you know, one, they're kind of like 
girl looking, but to me, it didn't matter. I wanted to have them for both of them, but they have matching Reiki uh, stones and that helps heal and do kind of kind of some things too. So that's what you have on right now, right? And you have your stone in the middle. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I have the Reiki wrap on right now. Um. So the stone is has healing benefits, and so um you can when when people wear these, women wear these, they can put their palm on the stone and call in the healing benefits of that stone and call in clearing their energy or whatever their intention is. And this, the Reiki wrap in the stone will support their energy for the day. I love um, that. And, and of course I couldn't leave dogs out because I love dogs so much. Um, and cats, my cat wears these as well, but this is a Reiki wrap for, for your pet. Puppies. And it's a matching one. I've got a, a Mukite Jasper here and so does Layla. And okay. so you can create an intention with your dog and you can share an intention with them and it can protect both of your energy all day long and you can become more in alignment with your dog's energy um, with the intention and the stone and it's just um, a really great garment to use to, to wear to maintain uh, your energy in between Reiki sessions with me. I love that. And you have different stones. So they're not all just one. You can pick and choose. I have different stuff. stones. I have like nine different patterns of the Reiki wrap. Um, each one has two different stones. Um, so yeah, there's quite a variety. And, and you've been um, working on that for such a long time and you finally did it. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's, you. it's a lot of work. It's a lot Thank of work. You. And so I wanted like, to get that out and we're going to put the the uh, website up. So if anybody's interested, because you are, it just so, it's such a beautiful outfit. And then to be walking around and just seeing your dog, you know, work together with you. I just, I just think that's so, so nice. And we just need positivity all the time. And I'm just so thankful for you because you know, to take giant leaps and big steps. I did that too. And as a woman and an entrepreneur and just, you know, knowing that we have the ability to make changes in people's lives. That's, that's the biggest part. So, you know, I want to ask just one thing before, you know, we, we end our show, but for me, it's like ageless ambitions is so an important part of feeling like we can have a future of doing more and more that there's never an end to what we can be and what we, we can maybe look for for our future. So if you could ask, you know, if, if you could tell, excuse me, our audience, what you would like to do in your future and what you are looking forward to so that they can maybe get, you know, just a positive thing of saying, Hey, if that she can do it, I can do it too. Wow. Since I was a, a five years old, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Okay. Um, but I also wanted to be in TV. So um, I wanted to help the masses. Uh, I wanted to help dogs and, and the masses. And I, and I always had dogs of my own and I thought, gosh, I just want to help all of them. So um, what's, I think that's where I'm at now, finally in my life. Um, finally, I feel like I'm, I'm here. I just, I kind of just got here, but um, I take it to, to another level, like just keep growing. Another, as far as I can go with it, I love training and including Reiki in dog training. Um, I, I never really took the dog training until I learned about positive reinforcement training. And because it's so positive and your dogs are always in, happy. And, and so I just want to show people how to work with their dogs in such a positive way. I think that's and so important because I just got so mad at Max the other day. You know, and it's because I left him and I thought that he could handle it. But, you know, he ended up doing something on my carpet and I'm like, no, what are you doing? No, but it's just like today, I can tell you right now, he's the best he's ever been in a long time just by just chilling right now with us. Not mm -hmm. just little D's fine, but Max, you know, can hear you and he's just feeling it. So I, I love the fact that it could be positive reinforcement. It doesn't, you don't need to be mad at him. He doesn't. He doesn't know any no. better. Um, and I love little Max and little D. I <laughs> Reiki with Max, and that was so mm -hmm. fun. I brought out all my crystals and everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you know, there's and in taking that Reiki mindset into the training as well. Um, having being conditioned, oops, sorry, being conditioned 
to Reiki and the vibration and just really try to stay calm as much as I can um, really helps when you're doing training with puppies mm -hmm. and, it, and it helps you to remember, oh yeah, we're going to, this is supposed to be fun and everything's upbeat and every, but everything's calm and everything's well right now. So well, you, um, you did teach me that, um, <laughs> you know, with Max coming back in and just kind of being of calm, don't, don't try to push him away and stop, stop, stop. Just like, just walk in, like everything's normal and just mm -hmm. be calm. And then all of a sudden within like minutes, he's calm, you know, where before he would just keep going and going. Cause I'd be saying, stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. You know, stop, you know, negative kind of a, a, a negative approach. So just coming in and just being calm and sitting there. All of a sudden he just looks at me like, okay, I guess I don't have to be the way I am, you know? So, you know, I just thank you for this information, this knowledge that you're giving us, because I think it's so important that this is available and I can't wait for more people to find out about what you do. And most importantly, I think you have a beautiful soul. You are beautiful inside and out. And I am so glad you're my friend. And I just thank you for taking the time to being here with me. And you could see the difference in those guys. Just over time, you just kept letting them do what they do and just feeling their energy and just, you know, you know, look at them. Look at them. I love they're, it. They're so wonderful. I love oh. them. Well, I can't wait for you to get Max in your hands again. Little D, yes. I think is okay. <laughs> He's kind of bored. He's like, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for being here on my show. You're beautiful. I love it. I appreciate you. Ageless Ambitions on Lux Media Studios. We're so glad you've been here and we can't wait for you to come back. Thank you so much, Christy. I appreciate you and, and I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you.